If you've ever wondered what it's like to live in Lincoln, Rhode Island, stick around because today we're going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Lincoln, right here, right now. Hi, I'm Carl Passarelli, native Rhode Islander and local realtor with Home Smart Professionals. And on this channel, we talk about real estate and all things Rhode Island. Lincoln is located in northeastern Rhode Island and is comprised of seven villages. Lincoln is a quiet town of natural beauty and rich history and offers a suburban small town feel. Let's kick it off with the pros. Public schools. Lincoln has six highly rated public schools four of which are elementary schools, all offering full kindergarten, and one also offers a preschool program. Lincoln has one middle school and one high school. However, there is also a public tech high school, Davies. Lincoln has many private schools as well. Most are pre-K and kindergarten, but a few offer second grade through 12th grade. Let's move on to location. Located in the northern section of Rhode Island, Lincoln is less densely populated. It is easy to get to and from Lincoln via routes 146 and 295. While in Lincoln, there are many secondary roads to get you where you're going quickly and easily. Traffic congestion is very low in the town. Lincoln has some beautiful state parks. There are numerous parks, recreational areas, and a bike path. Lime Rock Nature Preserve has a clearly marked looped trail on its 135 acres, and it's a great place for a hike and bird watching. Lincoln Woods State Park is the town jewel with over 600 acres of hiking, snowmobiling, biking, and horse trails, picnic tables, and ball fields. Only Pond is a 128-acre freshwater pond with swimming, boating, and fishing. It is also located in Lincoln Woods. The Blackstone River Bikeway is one of Rhode Island's most scenic bike paths with many river crossings and waterfall views as it follows the Blackstone River. Lincoln has a wide variety of entertainment. Cinema World Theaters is a state-of-the-art 16-screen cinema with stadium seating. CW Lanes and Games features 22 lanes of bowling, laser tag, and an arcade and on-site restaurant. R1 Indoor Karting is a 90,000 square foot entertainment facility featuring go-kart racing on a third mile track with racing speeds up to 45 miles an hour. They also offer axe throwing, an interactive dart experience, and a huge arcade with more than 50 games, and Time Zone, which is touted as the biggest time machine gaming experience in the world. Battleground Z is a full gaming 50,000 square foot indoor facility with archery tag, paintball, dodgeball, laser wars, airsoft, dot wars, and an arcade. They also have a mess hall where you can fuel up after a long day of fun. Sunset Stables has horseback riding tours through Lincoln Woods, as well as a horseback riding lesson program for adults and children, plus riding camp. For an indoor rock climbing experience, check out Rock Spot. Or for a more relaxing time, visit the Saltitude Himalayan Salt Cave, which is handcrafted from nine tons of authentic pink Himalayan sea salt. If you prefer a game of chance, check out Valley's Twin River Lincoln Casino and Hotel, it has 162,000 square feet of gaming space loaded with tables, slots, and a VIP lounge and is open 24 hours a day. There are eight restaurants and a 10,000 square foot spa. Valley's Casino has a full concert venue featuring top artists from around the world. One of the nice things about Lincoln is that they offer a homestead exemption for homeowners, including tax discounts for military, veterans, and seniors. For more detailed information, please view the link below. You'll find lots of great shopping in Lincoln. Lincoln Commons, formerly known as Lincoln Mall, or still known as Lincoln Mall if you're a native Rhode Islander, has been a town staple for more than 50 years. Located at the junctions of I-295, 116, and Routes 146. The Commons is a suburban retail and entertainment center situated on over 578,000 square feet and home to a diverse collection of stores and restaurants, as well as a 16-screen movie theater with bowling lanes and an arcade. Parallel to Route 116, within the boundaries of the commons, but not attached to the plaza, are a number of freestanding buildings, including Santander Bank, Chili's Restaurant, McDonald's, Stop and Shop Gas Station, Chipotle, Ocean State Job Lot, 
I love Ocean State Job Line. Asia Grill and IHOP. A few of the stores located inside the Commons are Target, Marshalls, Five Below, Burlington, formerly known as Burlington Coat Factory, and Home Goods. Max Fitness also occupies a 20,000 square foot area on the back side of the Commons. You might also be surprised to learn that the campus for Lincoln Technical Institute, a career training school for automotive, culinary, medical health services, and IT is located within the Lincoln Commons. Now let's talk a little about the cons. First, we have to talk about taxes. Lincoln ranks 12th for the highest property taxes out of 39 towns and cities in the state. However, it is one of only nine towns that offers exemptions to its residents. One of the other cons is cold, snowy winters. Lincoln receives an average of 40 inches of snow during the winter months. Frequent snowfalls and cold temperatures can add time and frustration to daily commuting. All in all, Lincoln is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. If you'd like to learn more about Lincoln, please check out my next video where we tour the neighborhood of Albion. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.